something breathing in a trauma situation. Keep it simple. Look, listen, and then percuss. And you might want to consider using SATS monitoring and maybe an ABG, maybe even an ultrasound to assess for pneumothorax. What are you going to pick up on? Well, in the primary survey, these things on this side are key and you must try to detect those. And in the secondary survey, when you're repeating this process, you may be more likely to pick up on these things here. Let's just talk about those in a bit more detail now then. So on this side, um, we have a tension pneumothorax causing collapse of the lung and compression in this direction. We have an open pneumothorax, a flail segment and a massive hemothorax. And then on the other side, we have uh, injuries to the aorta, traumatic injuries, um, pulmonary uh, contusions, uh, tracheoesophageal injuries, simple pneumothorax, cardiac injury, blunt cardiac injury, rib fractures, uh, a smaller hemothorax, esophageal rupture, and possibly damage to the uh, diaphragm as well.